Good morning, everyone. Welcome on into North Dakota today. The Brave Conversation Project is designed to help build community strength with both conversation and an audience that has a seat at the table. It's aimed to be led by today's problem solvers. Joining us this morning to talk more about the program is Program Director of Humanities ND, Sue Murata. Good morning, Sue. Hey, good morning. I always love coming here to visit with you. Well, we are so excited to have you. Yes, an incredible topic of conversation that folks are invited out to. But to kick things off, for those who may not be familiar, can you just give our viewing audience an overview of Humanities ND? Absolutely. So the best way to describe it, Humanities North Dakota is like a gym for your mind. So we all on occasion go to the gym, go for a run. We know how to take care of our body, at least what we should do. But what about our brain? You know, a lot of science backs up that we need to keep our brain active as we, especially as we age. And so what we are is a gym for the mind. And we have several programs, some virtual, some in person. And the Marilyn Hudson Brave Conversation Project is our big in-person event. So who are you aimed at serving? What are the age ranges that people should consider? Oh my gosh, anyone is a lifelong learner. Uh, who we invite to our programs is post-college. So, you know, kids are in school, uh, college, universities, but after college, you get married, you have kids, you start a job. It's still so important to, to keep your brain active and to keep learning. And, you know, not that we need to come to consensus on big ideas, but we need to find a seat at the table and listen, learn to listen, learn to be heard. I love that. Thank you for explaining mm -hmm. it so well. Yeah. So this morning, can you give us some insight on what the theory of enchantment means? Absolutely. So this lovely woman, Chloe Valdery, is going to fly to Fargo from New York. Um, she's an entrepreneur. She created a, a, a program called the Theory of Enchantment. So this program utilizes pop culture to convey a message of compassionate anti-racism. But what she does is she looks into social emotional learning, character development, and interpersonal growth for leadership development. And this can affect you in your workplace, your community, your family, uh, just in general about life. And what I love about it not only is it humanities based in film and literature and music, but that it is it's lifelong learning and it's about a lifestyle. It's about it's about how to go through life being a more uh, well informed and compassionate citizen. Wow. And why do you think a program like this is so incredibly important for community members? Oh, my gosh, I think it's how we see each other every day. I think when we go to work, um, just just living life is hard. And then when you add work stress, you add societal stress, political stress, all that kind of stuff. You know, I think we've lost the art of sitting face to face and being in conversation. Again, not to come to consensus, to be heard and to learn how to listen. And so Marilyn Hudson, uh, the late MHA nation leader, and she was a North Dakota tribal historian, uh, this program is in her legacy and honoring her through inviting all people to the table. She didn't care uh, who you were, what your political affiliation was, your gender, anything like that. She would invite you to her kitchen table um, to talk about anything and everything. And so we are in, in her honor. That is what we do with these big, uh, brave conversations. Invite you to the table. And you know what? It's a Thursday night. It's at the Sanctuary Event Center, Thursday night, 7 to 9 p.m. on April 18th. Uh, what a great date night. Yeah. You know, you go, you go to a movie and you don't talk, right? Come see Chloe. We have appetizers. You get a DEI certificate, uh, diversity, equity, and inclusion. Uh, um, and, and you get to sit at a table with a group of people hopefully you've never met but you live in the same community. Uh, everyone gets a collectible uh, Brave Conversation coffee mug. So there's lots of reasons to come out, but we always have fun. Uh, we take the highbrow out of the humanities. Learning should be fun. Learning should be about community, about being with people, 
about conversation and that's who we are we would love to see you there now i will tell you we are going to sell out and and the numbers rise every day so we do have two tickets real quick so a 50 dollars ticket um comes with entry appetizers the mug everything but also you get access to chloe's app which is duolingo style it's a nine week app where you go through and you ask yourself questions about mindsets that you grew up with, stuff like that. It's a $350 value. You get that with your $50 ticket. The other tickets, 25 comes with everything but the app. So come have some appetizers, conversation, a great date night. I love We'd that. Love and then just there. to clarify, how do we get our tickets? Uh, go to humanitiesnd.org. <laughs> And you will see it right there at the top. Go to classes and events and register today. Don't wait. Sue, thank you so, so much for bringing this conversation to the forefront here this morning for our viewers. We so appreciate you joining us. You bet. Thank you so much. Of course. Okay, 933 here on North Dakota Today. Plenty more happening right after the break.